What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 29 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that a high school randomly selected 75 of the 200 seniors at the school to take a sample college entrance exam. The mean GPA was 2.85 and the standard deviation was 0.4. And we're supposed to evaluate all these statements about the margin of error. And actually, this is a technology question where more than one of these statements could be correct. So let's go ahead, and of course this question tests your knowledge of margin of error. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll talk about the first two statements first, the ones that have us actually calculate the margin of error. And this is the formula it gives us here. 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. So in this problem, it would be 2 times our standard deviation was 0.4 divided by the square root of 75. So if I go ahead and figure that out in my calculator, that's going to be 2 times 0.4 divided by, and then I press 2nd and the squared button to get my square root, square root of 75. So that's 0 0.0923. This matches this statement. The margin of error is 0 0.092. And it rounded to one fewer decimal place than I did when I said the answer, but that's fine. And so now... If this one's correct, this one can't be. So now we can talk about these two statements. The margin of error would either increase or decrease if the sample size were changed to 125 seniors. So all I'm going to do for this is I'm going to rewrite this except with 125 as my sample size instead of 75. And if I want to type this in the calculator, it will look very similar. 2 times 0.4 divided by the square root of 125. Now that is less than this. If our sample size increases, it looks like our margin of error decreases, which makes sense because the square root of n is in the denominator of this fraction, and as n goes up, the square root of n goes up. Not quite as much, but still, the square root of n going up makes this whole thing decrease. So, if the sample size were changed to 125 seniors, the margin of error would decrease.